What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Barbie Sacks, the big one, not the little one. If you are a turn subscriber, welcome back, baby. If you're new here, do not forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. So today's video is gonna be a strip of all y'all. And oh my god. <laughs> Oh my God. So first of all, hold on, because I feel like I'm all over the place. <laughs> Today is November 9th, y'all. Hold on, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all on the candy camera. Hold on, if it focuses, today is November 9th, y'all. And as you can tell you, girl got done early today. Yeah, <laughs> give me my flowers. Give me my flowers. <laughs> y'all, I literally never get done early. Like, this is crazy. This is new for me. This is definitely new for you, y'all. Today, your girl got a little time, okay? <laughs> but, um, y'all, so where do I start? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just got done doing my hair and my makeup, y'all. I think I did a really, really great job, y'all. But today is Thursday and your girl is going to work. And supposedly they got something going on at the club tonight. It's like an NFL player's birthday or something like that. What is his name? I think his name is like Duke Riley. And he's supposed to be coming to the club tonight, y'all. For his birthday. I think it's his birthday. Honestly, y'all, I don't really know. It's like, <laughs> truth be told, I really don't know what's really going on. I just know it's supposed to be an NFL player at the club tonight. Like, literally. I don't know what the event. I honestly, truthfully don't. Like, I know this sounds crazy. I know it might sound crazy, y'all. But me being a stripper, I do not, like, I don't be knowing everything that be going on in the club. And the reason why is because my life don't revolve around the club. You know what I'm saying? When I'm in the club, I'm in the club. When I'm not in the club, I'm not in the club. And I can care less what's going on, to be honest. But don't get me wrong. I'm not left in the blind to where I don't know what's going on, period. But it's not to the point where I just know every single thing that's going on like i'm on every set like i'm a stripper yes but my life does not revolve around this oh yeah oh my god like oh i am so stressed y'all let me tell you why i'm stressed okay let me tell you why i'm stressed because y'all for the 10k giveaway i did not expect this many people to enter the giveaway like honestly truthfully i did not expect this many freaking people to enter the giveaway y'all when i tell y'all i don't know who to pick literally i don't know who to pick like i wish i had like for every single person that answered the giveaway i wish i had something specifically for that person like like no lie like i don't know like how do i just I, you know what I'm saying? Like, my whole, my big thing is I love each and every one of y'all. And to just not give to each and every one of y'all, it's really bothering me. It is. I, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It really is. Like, choosing is so freaking hard, y'all. Like, for one, I did not expect this many people to enter the giveaway. I'm thinking, like, maybe, like, 10, 15, 20 the most, y'all. We're at, like, 100 people. Okay? We're at 100 people already, y'all. And I just, I literally just made that video, like, a couple days ago. So, your girl's a little stressed about that, y'all. So, I don't know. I'm gonna have to, like, put some names in a hat. You know what I'm saying? And just draw, like, you know, back in the days because I, I this is hard all right this is hard as hell like I don't, I don't think i'm gonna be able to pick like that i think i'm gonna have to really literally write every single name down put it in the head and pick a name out like this like they did back in the day okay because <laughs> i think i'm like randomly pick a name or possibly like have my girlfriend randomly pick somebody i don't know like get like put a list of names down and just have her randomly pick a name for the winner because y'all i'm stressed out okay literally stressed out i did not expect as many people to enter the giveaway okay <laughs> one more thing that i wanted to clear up about the last video that i had posted y'all i know in the last video i had said the bag was authentic y'all the bag is not authentic okay the bag is not authentic i guess i was talking too fast and i was like yeah authentic 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 the bag is not authentic okay it's, it's very much not giving out that okay but <laughs> but it's so easy though you feel me so i don't want none of y'all to get it confused and i don't want none of y'all be like oh she's a liar she said the bag is authentic no the bag is not authentic guys yeah if y'all don't know me by now y'all should know one thing about me i talk really really fast okay sometimes i talk so fast to where i may or may not miss out a word when i'm talking you feel what i'm saying like it happens to the best of us but no the bag is not authentic it is a dupe and i'm gonna show y'all the bag once again hold on authentic it is a dupe but it's still eating all right it's definitely still eating and on the inside y'all because i don't know if i showed y'all in the last video on the inside it does say louis vuitton on the inside y'all once again it's free it's a free bag all right it's but for the fact that y'all think i have like three four thousand dollars just to throw away like that it's crazy like <laughs> it's really insane like i got I, i'm flattered i honestly am but no your girl do not got three thousand four thousand dollars just to throw away like that i'm sorry i don't okay <laughs> but y'all the bag is not authentic once again so hands up don't shoot okay <laughs> dang all right <laughs> but if y'all not once again make sure y'all follow me on instagram y'all follow me on tiktok and on top of that you are subscribed to my youtube channel to enter the giveaway y'all y'all done make sure y'all dm me on instagram and send me the screenshots and everything so y'all can enter the giveaway y'all so get up on it all right tap in like <laughs> i'm about to hop on this road because it is getting late it is 9 39 y'all and your girl is trying to get to the money all right wish your girl a fat crazy stupid bag y'all peaceful bag and let the money flow to us naturally okay <laughs> y'all the goal for tonight is $1,500, okay? The NFL players bring 
the money out, period, okay? Bring out the up coins, all right? Stop playing games because the bills is due now, not later, all right? <laughs> but y'all, I love you guys so freaking much. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow, most likely. And yeah, love you guys. <laughs> What's up, y'all? So today's the next day, y'all. And your girl was so freaking tired yesterday. Like, <laughs> there was absolutely no way that I was getting on camera, y'all. Like, yeah. <laughs> Your girl was toe up school, like literally. I was so freaking tired, y'all. But today is the next day, y'all. It is Friday, and I'm gonna tell y'all about the club yesterday. Ah, I can hear my mouth. I'm gonna tell y'all about the club last night, y'all, and I'm gonna show y'all this money count. So first and foremost, y'all, I just curled my hair. That's why my curls look like this, y'all. I'm waiting till I get to the club to comb my curls out. But last night the club was so weird, y'all. Like, oh my god, <laughs> I just, I just don't really know what to say. Like, the club last night was very much given weird, y'all. So the NFL player had popped out or whatever, right? And your girl had got picked to get in the section. Of course, I'm a baddie, duh. <laughs> but your girl had got picked to get in the section or whatever, and. I'm thinking that he's going to throw bread. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking he's going to throw at least like three, four thousand dollars Y'all, this man only got $1,000. Okay? And it was like four girls. So you do the math. Like, that really wasn't even no money for real. So I know he felt the way. Like, what is, what is this? You, yeah, this man only got $1,000, y'all. And then it gave like the people that he came with was like, I don't know if they was like his family, his friends, whatever, but it gave like they was broke. It very much gave that they was trying to eat off him because he was passing them his money and they didn't have no money to get no money. So I was really just confused. Like, um, okay, what is going on? Like, it, it's giving broke. The whole section is giving broke. Like, I'm not calling him broke, but I'm just saying like this whole section was just giving broke. Like, I don't know, y'all. I just really wasn't jacking it for real. Cause how are you in this big section, right? Cause it was a whole lot of them, y'all. They came deep. Okay, they came deep. So I'm just thinking like, how is it a whole lot of y'all and only one person got money? Do you not know how crazy that look? And that's why I really can't call him broke because because in his mind, he was probably thinking what I look like throwing all this money and nobody even trying to match me. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm the only one throwing money. Like, I ain't gonna lie, that would have kind of blew me too. So I'm not even gonna necessarily call him broke, but the people he was with y'all definitely was giving broke, okay? And then on top of that, y'all, it was like another section that came in the club last night. It was only two sections that came in the club last night, y'all. Last night was so freaking weird it was so broke like i couldn't even deal there was this other section that had came in last night y'all and they had got about a good nine hundred dollars y'all and it was like only two girls in that section originally it was three girls but they ended up kicking one of the girls off the bag because she was trying to be in a section with us and in the other section which i wish they would have just kept her on that section because it would have made more sense because we had four girls on our bag and they only had two girls on their bag but that's neither here nor there you know i don't know last night really blew me y'all oh and let me tell y'all about this one dude y'all let me tell about this one dude this is the last thing i'm gonna say before i show y'all this money count i hop on the road because it's getting late y'all it's so crazy how the universe works you know what i'm saying it's so crazy how the world just go around like it's just let me just explain okay <laughs> let me just explain y'all so when i first got to work or whatever it was this dude right here he was dripped down designer chains on this day and the third you know what i'm saying looking like he got money looking like keyword looking like so me and my homegirl we peep him looking at us so she was like you want to go over there and talk to him so i'm like all right that's cool you know and so we have like a little kind of slight conversation not serious and he was just like as we talking he was like um i'm gonna fool with you and your friend a little bit later but right now i'm chilling how he said it in the vibe that it gave it didn't give like i'm gonna mess with y'all later type of time it kind of gave like like, I don't want to give you no money type of vibes. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody everybody can peep out energy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, tell me why when I had gotten an NFL player section, y'all. Oh, when I tell you, Buddy was fanned out. Buddy was fanned out. This man literally stood on the outside of the section and watched me dance in the section the whole freaking time, y'all. And the whole time I was dancing, y'all, why he was trying to get my attention? Fanning me down like, hey, hey. Hey, fanning me down, y'all. Fanning me down. And I was ignoring him. You know why? Because you fake try to ignore me, so I'm going to ignore you. Because earlier, I felt like when I was talking to you, I felt like you really wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, feeling me for real, so I got the hell on. You know what I'm saying? But now that I'm in the NFL player section, you like, oh, yo, yo. You know what I'm saying? You fanning me down. You waving me down and stuff like that. So, I ignored you. Like, what are you talking about, for real? So, y'all, why this man go get one of the sweepers, right? Go get one of the sweepers to come get me up out of the section. So, the sweeper come up there. He like, barbs. I'm like, what's up? He like, come here. So, I walk down. I'm like, what's going on? He like, he want to talk to you. So, I'm like, are you serious? I wish I, I wish you would have told me this when I was up in the section because I would have never came down. You feel me? So, I came down. I walk up to him. I'm like, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's up? So, he like, oh, I want you to dance with me. He pull out $100, y'all. Not even three. 
Not even five. A hundred dollars. Talking about some, oh, I want you to dance with me right quick. I want you to dance with me right quick. Pop the tag, pop the band and all. So I'm like, all right. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving him a little one, two, three. He throwing the money, throwing the money, throwing the money. It wasn't that much, but he was taking too long to throw it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, I'm not about to stroke your ego. This is this, this is what you want. I'm not giving it to you. Because at the end of the day, you got me messed up. All right? That's what you got me. You got me messed up. I'm not stroking no man's ego. I don't care who you are. I don't care how much money you got. I'm not stroking no man's ego, period. So I got the hell on. So he felt some type of way. So he was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I had some more money, but I ain't even gonna give it to you now. I was like, and don't care, and don't care. It obviously wasn't that much because you would have threw it. Don't and don't care. And I went back in the section, like, who you playing me for? <laughs> like, who you playing me for? Sorry, but not sorry. Like, <laughs> like, what the hell was wrong with him? But y'all, let me show y'all this money. From last night, y'all. Last night was weird, beyond weird. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to you. But I made the best of last night, y'all. So, this is what we made last night on a Thursday? Yeah, on a Thursday, y'all. And I did count this. This is $700, y'all. So, we made $700 on a Thursday, which isn't bad because the club last night was so freaking slow. Like, oh my God, I could have screamed. Literally. But before I go, y'all, I want to show y'all these new outfits that I had got. Oh, I'm just so freaking excited to wear the <laughs> They're so freaking cute, y'all. So, so the only thing that I wear at the club, y'all, is slingshots. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'll pop out in a different outfit. Like, here did, like, a different style. But my thing is slingshots. I just feel like slingshots just really, like, just frame me, you know, perfectly. It just looks really good on my body. So, your girl had got two slingshots today at the dance store, y'all. And I haven't bought outfits in so long. So, it kind of felt, like, weird a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I haven't bought outfits in mad long. And, y'all, the reason why I don't really buy outfits like that for us is because it was a point of time in my dance career where I went crazy. And that's all I bought was dance outfits, y'all. Your girl is gaining weight, okay? Your girl's getting thick. And some of them don't even fit, right? So I feel like I wasted a lot of money. So now I basically just stick to my slingshots because I know regardless if I gain weight or even if I lose weight, my outfit's going to still fit. You know what I'm saying? They still going to look good. So your girl had got two slingshots, y'all. And this is the first color that I had got. Very basic color, y'all. This is real plain, y'all. This is like a cream color. I had got the bottoms. And y'all, this is the top. It is a freaking slingshot, y'all. I think I'm going to wear this one tonight. It's so freaking cute. <laughs> And I ended up buying a all black one, y'all. Black is my color, okay? In the strip club, black is my color. Like, I don't know why, like, black black and red, them, look, listen, them, <laughs> they, those are my colors. Like, you can never go wrong with all black, y'all, all red. Like, mm, chef's freaking kiss, okay? But, y'all, let me stop talking so much. Um, it is 11.27. And your girl has to be at work before 12 or yeah, tip out's gonna raise up. So I'm about to head out, y'all. I love y'all so much. Wish your girl a fat, crazy, stupid bag tonight, y'all. My hair looks crazy. It's all right, though, because I'm gonna touch it up when I get to work. But yeah, I wish your girl a fat, crazy, stupid bag, a peaceful bag, and let the money flow to us naturally. <laughs> Your girl is banking on a 1500 tonight, y'all. That was actually the goal yesterday, but we only walked out with 700 which still isn't bad. I'm not even mad at the 700 to be real, because yesterday it was so dead. So, so dead. Like, there was no way that the goal was going to be even possible. That's how so it was. But tonight we are banking on $1,500, y'all. With your girl, Fat Crazy Super Bag, y'all. A peaceful bag and let the money flow to us naturally. <laughs> and I'll see y'all when I get from the club. <laughs> What's up, y'all? So today's the next day, y'all. It is a Saturday. Why was, I, why was I just about to say it was Sunday? <laughs> today is saturday y'all and your girl just got done doing her hair her makeup i'm in the car right now that's why i was like so freaking dark whatever y'all <clears throat> and don't mind my voice because i'm literally getting sick again <laughs> like at this point i'm not understanding what's going on with my immune system like i literally just got done being sick y'all and i'm right back sick i don't know if it's the club or I don't know if it's like the money or what it is, but something is tearing me up, okay? <laughs> something is tearing me down. Like, I just, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I was going to work Sunday as well, which is tomorrow. But I just, uh, I, I, I need to get my myself together, all right? <laughs> I need to get myself together because, no, like, this is too much. Like, I think that club is really getting me sick for real, y'all. But um, let me tell y'all about the club last night before I head to work, y'all. So, last night, the club was cool for a Friday. I'm not even going to say it was cool. It was, it, was it, it had its moments. You know, like, they was throwing money, and then they would stop. Then they would throw money, and then it would stop, y'all. But, but overall, the club was cool. But, y'all, let me tell y'all about last night, y'all. Uh, let me tell y'all. 
Because <laughs> when I tell y'all, they had me messed up. They had me messed up, y'all. And I'm at the point to where, like, I'm just getting so, so sick and tired of being nice. Because when you be nice, people really feel like they can run over you. And I'm at my breaking point. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm at my breaking point with it all. So, yesterday, yesterday, me and my homegirl, we was dancing for these people at the table, right? And we had left our money on the ground because no sweepers was available to pick up our money. Like, other people was making money and they was too busy picking up other money. So, we left the money on the ground. So, while we come back to the money and it's three girls dancing on our bay you know what i'm saying and me and her we done made about 150 200 dollars on the ground so what i did okay what i did is i walked over there i tried to get them the benefit of the doubt, y'all i walked over there and i asked them i said are y'all dancing on our bag they was like no and i was just like so there was not no money on the ground before y'all came over here they was like no and i'm like okay you know what i mean like i'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt you know what i'm saying maybe the sweepers picked the money up but from what i saw they didn't pick the money up so i go around i'm asking every single sweeper y'all it's number of like five six sweepers like it's really not that many sweepers so i asked every single one of them if they picked that money up that was on the floor they either said no or i don't know nobody said yes Okay, so what I did was I go to the manager and I'm like, yo, those girls over there dancing on our bag. You know what I'm saying? In the midst of it. I didn't tell him after it was already done. I told him in the midst of it. He was just like, well, come in the office with me. So I go in the office with him and then he talking to the other manager. He like, go he like go over there and figure out what's going on. Act the sweepers if they pick that money up, y'all. He got the same answer as I got. Everybody kept saying no or I don't know. So y'all basically dancing on our bag. If nobody ever picked the money up, Y'all are dancing on our bag. Like, stop acting like this y'all first time dancing. Cut the BS. Like, y'all know y'all dancing on our bag. Like, I, I just don't like stuff like that. Like, that really upsets me. I don't even know. I was so freaking mad. So, um, at the end of the night, the manager was like, don't worry about it. How much you said was on the floor? I was like, it was at least 150. So, he was like, all right. So, at the end of the night, I'm going to bust the bag down. I'm going to give y'all 150 and then they're going to have the rest. I said, all right, cool. So, y'all, why the end of the night come, right? <laughs> The end of the night come, y'all, and we never got no bag. We never got nothing. Like, mind you, that was the only bag me and this girl danced together was that one bag. One bag. We never got nothing. So I walked up to the manager. I'm like, yo, where's my cut from that bag? You know what I'm saying? I see you giving them their bag, but I didn't get my cut out of their bag. So where's my cut? So he's going to tell me, you said it was $150 to $200 on the floor, and when I counted it, it wasn't that. So that just goes to show that you lying. I said, lying? Lying about what? What do I have to lie about? I said, for the simple fact that I literally came and got you in the midst of it. Like, not even at the end. I didn't tell you when everything was done with and over with. I told you why it was happening. You feel what I'm saying? Why they was making the money. So they could stop dancing on a bag and they could go somewhere else. Like, what you sit over here talking about? I'm li lying for what? Like, I'm not hard up over no money to where I have to sit up here and just make shit up. Like, I'm the, what? Come on now. Like, lying? That's insane. So, I got mad, y'all. I got mad because one thing about me, I don't, don't play with my money for one. And two, don't call me no lie because I lie about what? So, I'm like, nah. I'm like, you really got me messed up. That's why I told him I said you got me messed up. But I was cursing y'all, but I ain't about to do all that on camera, okay? But I he was like, don't disrespect me, da 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 because I could really treat you like somebody that I don't even know. I was like, and I could treat you the same way as well. Like, you feel me? Like, you got me messed up. Like, do what you want to do, and I'm going to do whatever I want to do. But at the end of the day, I'm like, cut, period. I don't give a, I don't care what you're talking about. So, we ended up going to the back. We, so we was talking about it. And I told the other girl, I'm like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is your money too. You feel me? And I really hate that. I really hate when like i'll be dancing on a bag with somebody and like we have an issue with the money and they let me do all the talking and they just be sitting in the whole time just watching like what is you back here for if you're not about to say nothing you know what i mean like you just back here just looking for what like if i'm going hard behind my money and also your money as well you need to be matching my same energy okay because y'all when i tell you i was going hard yes it was only 75 dollars but it was a principle like you're not about to play with me but he ended up giving me 75 dollars and her 75 five dollars out the cut because i was not playing no games y'all i was not playing no games you know what i'm saying i brought this issue up to you while it was happening and then when the end of the night come you're gonna act like like i was just lying about the whole situation and that's crazy as hell because to sit up here and lie about somebody else's money is insane like it's never that deep like and I, i'm not even trying to toot my own horn or nothing but everybody in that club know i make money so sitting over here trying to eat off somebody bag that i know for a fact isn't mine it's crazy so don't ever sit up here and try to play with me like that that was my whole thing if i say somebody dancing on my bag and they dancing on my bag they dancing on my bag and i want some of that
Period. Because at any other club, if somebody dances on your bag, they dance it for free. My whole thing was, it's not like you broke me off $30, $40. You know what I'm saying? You gave me nothing at all. As if my money was never on the ground. As if I stepped on somebody's bag. That's how you was treating me. The managers at that club, they be quick to be like, y'all need to be loyal to the club. Y'all need to be loyal to the club. But y'all don't be loyal to us. So I'm really confused. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, how y'all want us to be loyal to y'all, but y'all not loyal to us? You feel me? Because them girls that was dancing on my bag, he didn't even know them. Them girls don't even dance at that club. Them girls dance in Atlanta. So how you really sit up here siding with some girls you don't even know? It's getting weird as hell. You don't want us to be loyal to that club. You need to be loyal to us. And that shit's on period. That was fine. I was about to fight one of the girls because as I'm talking to one of the managers, she on the other side. I'm on this side, the manager in the middle, and she on this side. As I'm talking to him, she reaches over reaches over him and touch me like this touch me like this i told her don't touch me do not touch me am i am i speaking to you i'm not speaking to you am i looking at you i'm not looking at you don't put your hands on me because i'm telling you right now i'm telling you right now next time you put your hands on me i'm gonna punch the i'm the yo next time you touch me and i understand it was a tap but it's a principle don't touch me when i'm mad okay next time next time you tap me trying to get my attention because you trying to i don't care what you're talking about because what you're talking about don't matter you feel me next time you tap me i don't care how it is lightly politely disrespectfully slap fire from you that's it that i'm gonna slap the shit out of you so don't touch me so she got mad like girl that are doing all the extra girl look listen i said what i said and i walked off i could care less what you gotta say Okay, and I made that known. I said what I had to say, and then I walked off mid conversation. Cause what you talking about for? You're not talking about nothing. Y'all, last night, y'all, I was so pissed off. Y'all, y'all don't even understand. Like last night, really did it for me, y'all. And I would show y'all the money count from yesterday, but the money is upstairs but i ended up making eleven hundred dollars last night y'all on a friday which is not bad at all i'm hoping tonight is even better veterans day happy veterans day to all the veterans out there y'all if y'all didn't know i am a veteran okay so yeah <laughs> y'all had got some free food today at five guys i was too excited i'm like what i forgot it was veterans day and everything but happy veterans day to um <clears throat> to all my veterans out there y'all I'm about to head to work. I need to get me some gas first because I got like 48 miles and I'm not going to make it. <laughs> but um, I'm about to uh, head to work, y'all. And with your girl, fat, crazy, stupid bag, y'all, a peaceful bag and let the money flow to us naturally. The goal tonight is $1,500, okay? I want $1,500 tonight uh, so my weekend could just be made. I feel like I did good this weekend overall. I work Thursday, Friday, and I'm working tonight. That's three nights, y'all. Like I said, I will do tomorrow, but I just need to give my body some time to rest and recuperate because I'm getting back sick and I really think it's that club like not even lying to y'all I think it's that club but I love you guys so freaking much y'all wish you got fat crazy super bag tonight y'all <laughs> and I'm gonna see y'all when I get from the club <laughs> What's up, y'all? So today is the next day, y'all. It is Monday, and I know I'm giving TT vibes with the big bonnet and a jacket on, but y'all, <laughs> just listen. Mondays be my recuperating days, y'all, and I know I be giving grandma, but that's all right with me because I be needing to get myself together, y'all. And like I told y'all, I'm getting sick, so I'm just trying to shake back for real, okay? <laughs> so don't come to me in the comments talking about me because nine times out of ten, I look better than your mother, all right? <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm going to tell y'all about the club last night. Well, not last night because I actually didn't work last night because like i told y'all like i'm getting sick okay and i know y'all probably hearing my voice i'm getting sick so i'm honestly trying to like shake back you feel me so i did not work yesterday because i needed to take that day off just to recuperate get my body together y'all i've been taking my medicine my mucinex been drinking my medicine balls y'all listen and i'm trying to get right okay <laughs> so i did work saturday y'all but i am going to show y'all the money count from friday because i didn't show y'all and i'm going to show y'all the money count from saturday saturday night was kind of weird not even gonna hold you it was kind of weird and i was expecting so much more out of saturday night especially because it was veterans day you feel me it was a holiday so i thought people was gonna pop out for real i thought people was definitely gonna do their big one but nobody really came to the club for real y'all it was very much giving crickets like saturday night was so freaking slow like i was just over it like around like three o'clock i was ready to go home and i had got there around like 12 something y'all so i really wasn't even there the whole night and i was just ready to wrap it up because it was like it's very much not giving what it's supposed to give. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's Veterans Day. I'm thinking people going to pop outside. It very much didn't give that. <laughs> like, at all, y'all. Now, let me show y'all the money count from Friday night and also last night, y'all. So, this is the money count from Friday night, y'all, when I told y'all I made $1,100. So, this is that. And this is the money count from last night. Well, not last night. 
This is the money count from Saturday night, y'all. I had made $700, which wasn't bad because last night was just entirely weird as hell okay and i know some of the money look like it's counted and some of it doesn't i just honestly didn't have any rubber bands to put my ones together so, so that's why this stack look like this and this stack look like this also y'all look <laughs> your girl didn't have no rubber band so i had to make it do what it do okay <laughs> but that is a money count from this weekend y'all i think i did good this weekend overall y'all i'm not even mad at it but honestly i really just need this week to really just get myself together and i know i keep saying that y'all but that's really how i feel like i'm just over being sick like i literally just got done being sick and i'm sick again <laughs> i'm freaking sick again like are you shitting me <laughs> y'all if you have not entered the 10k giveaway i'm gonna need y'all to head over to my ig and do what y'all gotta do okay go follow your girl ig follow me on tiktok subscribe to my youtube channel because we live over here and that's on period okay and enter the giveaway y'all i think i'm gonna do the giveaway now when i come back from my trip the end of this month so if i don't do it the end of this month i'm definitely gonna do it the beginning of next month probably like december 1st like the first week of december i'm going to announce the 10k giveaway winner y'all so make sure y'all are on the lookout for that okay because it's up y'all it's lit and a lot of people are entering the giveaway like i honestly wasn't expecting this many people to enter the giveaway y'all but y'all y'all doing y'all big one okay so if y'all have not entered the 10k giveaway y'all make sure that y'all go ahead over to my ig and do what y'all gotta do all right period <laughs> oh my god y'all i have so much stuff to do today Ugh. And I literally don't feel like doing absolutely nothing. Like, that's really crazy. It's not crazy because I've been working all weekend. I don't feel good, y'all. Like, it's just so much to do and not enough time. Like, <laughs> not enough time. And your girl is so tired. Like, I just don't understand. Like, the club is really draining. Like, is it just me or do other or do y'all feel like that too? Like the ones who work in the club, like the club is really draining. Like it'll literally suck the life out of you if you let it. That's that's why when I'm not in a club, y'all, I try to stay active. I go places, you know what I'm saying? I go shopping or I go treat myself or I'll take a little trip here and there. You feel what I'm saying? So I could just take my mind or else because if you let that club drain you, y'all, it definitely will. And I just feel like I'm getting to that point where I'm kind of getting like a little drained. You know what I'm saying? My energy level is kind of getting a little low. So, um, I don't know. I think, um, I'm definitely going to thug it out the rest of this month, y'all. And, um, work every weekend the rest of this month. But I think in December, I think I may take me like a weekend off or maybe two weekends. I'm not really sure. I also was thinking about going out of town and um, dancing out of town, y'all. I don't know, y'all. It's I just need a break, okay? But I'm definitely going to thug it out for the rest of the November. But December, I'm most likely going to either take me like a weekend off or two weekend off. Because I just got to get myself together. And if you know, you know. The club could be so freaking draining. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, if y'all ever need to get yourself together, like, do that. Do just that because the club is draining, okay? Love you guys so freaking much. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Thank y'all for all the support, y'all. We are almost at 10k let's say y'all literally have like 15 more subscribers so we're at 10k so make sure y'all subscribing liking commenting even sharing i love you guys so freaking much and i'll see y'all in my next one <laughs>